see the 19 go up the hill. Here comes Tony, and he says, oh, man, please go down. Please go down. Well, look at Casey Kane in that nine. He actually got some damage on the rear. The 15's the one that had done a whale of a job. Darrell, we've always said this is really just kind of a stack-up effect. Like was one of them got on the brakes and it's kind of forced. Yeah, look at Tony Stewart just missing this crash. Man, here's where it really gets gets exciting. Man, we talked about that there's nowhere to go as you come off of these corners, and when something like this happens, you, you really have, you make a commitment, and you've got one opportunity really to miss this wreck. Tony Stewart did it. Here, nine degree bank, banking on the straightaways, and he spin like that off the corner, and you're pretty much going to hit that inside. Him. He's in between two trucks, and he does get sideways and then overcorrects it. And man, did that truck hit the wall hard. You talked about it. You're going 160, 170 miles an hour when you get into the turn. Yeah, but you know. It's, and that's a hard right turn. You, you just don't see Rex that hard very often. I mean, that here at Dover, Phil, he got his career best finish, too. He was third today. Looks like he almost had it saved there in about the third time around and then hard into the inside wall. And going low. You'll see these guys. Everybody checks up. It's like the one car checked up first, four got into him, and here come the rest of them. Gets up out of the groove a little bit. You're trying to crank it down. You pull the thing to the left. The more you pull it, the looser it gets. And there's no saving it right there. She is long gone, baby. About the same exact spot where Biff slammed the inside wall, which is normally what happens here. You talk about the safety. Here we, we get another look here, a little, little love tap, and it didn't work out. No, they're running about 145 or 50 when they hit the wall right there. Oh. And each other. And the lucky, the leaders had just, had the leaders just lapped him? No, I don't know if there's Hank Parker Jr. Oh, the yeah, 21 yeah. truck. He's currently in the 17th position. Oh, it's three, they're just three wide down through there. And Blaney's trying to give the guy on the inside of room, and he got into Michael. There you see Greg Biffle Boy, gets to the back of Jimmy Did you see Johnson. the nine car shoot through there? Hard to believe. Wow. Remember, Ron Hornaday has been on this race. Oh, Robert, 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 Robert. Steve Parsons, Randy Wood caught up with that as well. The 12 of Robert Huffman. The 65 of Regan Smith. John Benson, the 20. Sidewall. That's how you get both ends. There's the front. It's going to slide directly back across the racetrack right in front of Ouch. AC Mears. Wow. He goes down in turn one. And right here, just as he drove down the corner, he just never, just back in, just kept going around. Oh, there they go. It went again. Oh, there they go. Hard. A he can't do that. Didn't make it that time. Caution is out. Here comes another car spinning. Oh, my God. And it was 34. And that's all because he locked it down. Spin and save, though, for LaJoy. Or, oh. You see, he looked like, he, I don't know, was there contact between the 75 of David Starr and the 22, maybe? From that angle, you would almost think so, Phil. We talked about guys getting un underneath of you and wanting to give you just a little bit of a nudge or try to make their way to the front. Let's not convict David Starr of, of doing that yet. We don't. Team, uh, the tire just exploded about three quarters of the way down the front stretch, and when it blew, I couldn't turn. I knew it was going to hit, so I tightened my Hans up. Everything worked. Yeah, uh, you yeah. see. 99 got in sideways, got in the corner. Dorsey, what was that? That was the result of running down on the apron with the left front, de-wedging the truck, getting it sideways, getting up in the pickle and the vocal. You see who's right behind them. They were in desperation. The leader, Tony Stewart, they were about to go a lap down. Now you get a little frustrated with somebody that's you're faster than them. Trying to reel in Edwards. Whoa, off the wall, the two-car burst. Burst and his teammate comes across. Oh, man, that was two for one. Both Penske cars taking out that one. A Jimmy, melee. Jimmy Johnson also gets tagged. The reigning series champion. Jeff Green, the 66 cars in. J.J. Yaley. Something broke on the car, man. It shot straight into the fence. That's Dover's version of the big one, right? There's the contact. Oh, man. Looks like, oh. Looks like he did. For Earnhardt, who is not part of the rookie. Whoa. Pro oh, no. Whoa. Hang on to it. Hang on to it. No. Keep your brakes on, keep your brakes on. Clear along. 32 car of Kyle Busch at the wall, double spin. He and Leffler, a couple of Toyotas, heavy contact on the restart here at Dover, Delaware. Come on, he's sideways. Oh, come on. Oh, now he gets Legato. into it. Oh, he's oh. into the little bar and the car's upside down. On his side is Cliff. Yellow is out, yellow is out, yellow is out. Wallace gets into it. The 14 of Bliss gets into it.
happened here? Must have pulled up in front of him. Oh, oh wow. man. Oh. oh. What a man, what a bad break for Swindell, dude. What did he do? He drove straight across the damn racetrack. Oh, Stewart just loses it. Loses it down in the bottom. Casey Kane just gets collected. Has nowhere to go. Oh, we got trouble coming off of two already. Matt Kenseth is around a hard hit. Kenseth took a hard hit. Oh, oh he got somebody on the head. Donnie Nordberg at 52. Goes tumbling down the backstretch and then in the inside wall. It's like uh, Elliot was underneath the car there, and he got a little bit loose and uh, turned around, backed it in the wall, and Drew was coming along and... Watch this. He just slides right down in front of him. Oh, oh, my goodness. Wow. That is a hard hit. Uh, at least it wasn't a driver's yeah, exactly door. Exactly right. The left front. Uh, Back here. Oh. Was that Vickers that, got loose in front I think of it was Stremi. David Stremmy's oh, 12. Boy, that, that is. I'm glad they got that safer barrier down the back back there now. That would have. Boy, look how close. Let's see if we can see what happened between Legacy and McDowell. Yeah. It's hard to call there. It's just, yeah, it wasn't quite. Oh, man, oh, that's a hard one. hit right there. And then another one. It's all coming off a of turn two. Wow. John West Hanley just goes straight into the 23. Don't know if maybe he had a problem with the, with his car before that. Man, I don't know. Man, man. Hard look. And Butler took a hard one coming up off the corner. Uh -oh. Eric McClure is up on the inside of Kevin LePage and just gets into the left rear corner. Wow. And there's just no saving it here. You get spun, you're going to hit something at Dover. And, ooh. Hit something hard. Yeah, and you, the straightaways are banked so much, also, it just doesn't give you a chance. There's no room back there. It's unfortunate for Kevin LePage. He was having. You're going to know it here, 400 miles I can tell you, because this place. Oh, no! Goodness gracious. In the wall, hard. Just snapped loose all at once. It hurt. That was a hard. When he tried to correct it, he just gets right into the left rear of his teammate, Ricky Rudd, that 88 car hard licked to the inside wall. He just got very loose as he came up off that group coming in. Here's where it starts. Remember, Jeff said these banks are self cleaning, everything slides to the bottom. But somebody turned Michael McDowell, and there's another pile of cars in it. We talked about it before the race. Things just happen so fast here at this one mile racetrack.